Hi, this is Soma56, and this is a tutorial on how to reduce the number of duplicates that you receive when using Social Emo Extractor. There's actually two factors surrounding the number of duplicates you can possibly receive uh, within the program. The first most obvious one is that users use way too many keywords. Further to that, they use keywords that are way too similar in nature. So let me give you an example, and you have to bear with me because I'm typing with one hand and holding the microphone here. There, I've zoomed in. So, if our target was fitness, somebody may email me and say, hey, you know, I'm getting all these duplicates. What's going on? I say, well, show me what, give me the details of your extraction. This is generally what I'll see in terms of the, uh, the keywords. Now, that's those are those keywords are way too similar. What I would do is probably probably just use fitness. I would use something much broader, like so. Um, so that's the first factor. If fitness was my target, I, I might use those three. I might use just the one here. The websites I would select. Now I've got this in brackets. I've added there since day one. Madness means madness. There's no reason to select all of them unless you're, well, unless you you really want to target a niche and you want to get every possible email. But you're probably more than well off using one. Key, you're you're the most uh, hardcore critical keyword relating to your niche and selecting a dozen sites. You know, obviously the popular ones here are here for a reason. So what I would do is, well, you know, I could do fitness, health, nutrition, choose Facebook, MySpace, Twitter. That's, that's a pretty good, I'm gonna get, a, you know, 10, 20, 30,000 emails from that alone. Uh, if you're familiar with the program and you've done some extractions, it, it's kind of hard to gauge, you know, how many emails you're going to get based on your keywords and the websites you select and your search criteria. So it is one of those things that you can't really specifically describe. So, but let, let's stick to the topic at hand. The keywords, the similarity within the keywords, it has to be a much broader approach. The second factor, let's see if I can zoom in here again. Second factor is the page number. Now this is partially my fault. By default, I had the maximum page number at 1,000. Now that is the, the highest setting that you can that you can use within the program. The only way I can describe the maximum page number is by using a metaphorical example, so hopefully you can get it. If you have a lower maximum page number, so let's say for exa this example, 100, I should probably take up the 50, 100 is, is plentiful. If you have a lower page number, your duplicates are going to be reduced to basically nothing. Your list is going to be primarily 100% not 100%. We'll say 90% duplicate. It, uh, I'm saying if you extract 100k emails, there's a good chance 90k are going to be unique emails at a hundred at a maximum page number return of 100. Uh, the advantage is obviously less duplicates and a very uh, a highly targeted niche of emails. The disadvantage to a lower maximum page number is you won't get as many emails returned. That being said, on the other side of the, the spectrum here, or the drop-down menu, if we go with 1,000, which is the default and which people have been using by default, I haven't really explained what the maximum page number is, so, you know, I don't blame people for just being a little confused. The maximum page number of 1,000 will return every email inside and backwards. Social email extractor will break through the front door 
back door, the, s the, the side windows, the attic window to grab an email address. And as a result, you're going to get duplicates. So some people want that. They don't care. They'll get 500,000 emails knowing that, not most, but there'll be a lot of duplicates and at the end of the, at the, end of the day, they're going to get every single email relating to a niche, which is fine. So it really comes back to a preference. So that is the second factor. The first factor is obviously the keywords that you use. And I know that our keyword tool is not working right now. We are working on a couple different scraping solutions. But instead of just placing a keyword list here of very um, similar and generic keywords for a specific niche, you're going to want to take your time choose diverse broad keywords. Reduce your maximum page number. Do not select all the websites. Select a handful at a time. You can always go back into a second extraction with different websites. And this way you'll generate a highly targeted email list.